GreatTasteMB.ca is your online source for over 300 tried and true recipes, full episodes on demand, and exclusive behind the scenes content, including features on Manitoba's farm families. Subscribe today. Great Taste of Manitoba, dairy, best entertaining, and uh, frankly, a dessert that will make you want to weep with joy. It is so beautiful. <laughs> and it looks so delicious. We're talking about a strawberry icebox cake. And this is one of those beautiful things, Sarah Cahill, that, I mean, it looks super impressive when you're when you're done with it, because we kind of have to build it, right? But it's really so very easy. And there's lots of, of sort of real great benefits to making this, especially if you're gonna be entertaining or going somewhere. Anyway, we'll get to all of that. But first things first, uh, let's start with our very impressive, well, dairy products here that we've got. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna start by making our cream filling that's right. gonna go into that icebox cake, which is basically just a layered cake of cream and cookies. So these, there's a lot of different variations out there, but you're gonna see how we're going to build our cake today. Tears of joy. So, so far with our, our dairy products, we've got our cream cheese yes. uh, that we've beaten, and then we've added some milk to that, and so we've creamed that or beaten it all together, mm -hmm. to which we're going to add some icing sugar. Okay. okay. And I always really like cheats when we can possibly get them in there. Yeah, you're kind of the queen of the shortcut. I love shortcuts. for that. You know, we've got a lot of yeah, yeah. fresh ingredients in here. And so I feel like we really do have the, the room to add some shortcuts here what and there. What have you added? So what I've added here is a little bit of instant vanilla pudding. Okay. And the idea of just like flavor or texture or flavor a little both? Flavor and texture. So okay. I mean that cream cheese is going to give us some nice thickness. But that pudding, that instant pudding mix, will also give it some thickness as well. Beauty. Um, and so it'll set really nicely in our layers. So this is coming together really nice. Mm -hmm. You don't have to mix it too much because, again, we don't want it to turn into pudding at the end of the day, right? right. So we're going to take this out. Okay. Maybe give that a scrape so we don't make a big mess. And it's, it almost feels like uh, super fitting, uh, like a, a celebratory way to kind of wrap up this episode because it is our 30th anniversary uh, this year on Great Taste of Manitoba. And we, we've all we're, we've always been about celebrating local ingredients, and we're also about celebrating the folks that bring us these local ingredients, and in this particular case, of course, Dairy Farmers of Manitoba. And we were having a brief conversation earlier, just essentially about how uh, dairy farmers have the same kinds of concerns and interests that the rest of us do in terms of, of the product that, that they essentially create. Absolutely. First and foremost, I mean, I think they want to make sure that they're bringing us quality, safe milk, right? But then their families like, like you and I, right? We have families and so they care about the environment, they care about the animals that they have on their homestead, they care about sustainability. So really, you can be assured that when you're, when you're consuming dairy products, that you're actually consuming a product that is made from a Manitoba family farm that has the same values that you and I have. And one, uh, one of the special things that we're doing for the 30th anniversary, anniversary is that we have webisodes on our on our website, of course. And uh, so the Carr family, that's the dairy uh, farm family that's right. that we have featured uh, on our webisode. So if you want to meet the Carr family and kind of see exactly what Sarah was referring to, uh, we invite you to do that, greattastemb.ca. So, so what I've done just here is I've added some whipped cream to the cream mixture that we just did in the stand mixer. Okay. So we folded it in, which means that we're just lightly just, mixing just, it, right? So it. we're not beating it because we want to keep that volume from our whipped cream, right? When so do we I get to eat it, Sarah? Soon, soon. <laughs> not soon enough. <laughs> but we need to make our layers. Right. So we've got a nine by nine pan yes. to which we're going to add a layer of gram wafer crumbs. Okay. So it's a half a cup for each layer. We're going to do three layers in total. Okay. So, so we're just, just going to evenly spread it out on the bottom okay. there. Yep. Because this is not like an exact yeah. science. Exactly. You know what we can even do? This, yeah. is what I off Whoops. Yeah. this is what I often do. Yeah. And so actually that made a, it didn't make it as nice, but we'll just spread it out and away you go, right? Yeah. So now we're also going to add some gram wafer cookies to this dish. Okay. So this is a little bit of a trick, and I'll explain to you why in just a sec. But All we're right. just evenly going to place those here. Actually, let's do this. And so we've got a nice layer of cookie on top of our crumb, okay. to which we're going to add about one third of our cream mixture here. Okay. So are you going to tell us why we did the graham crumbs and then the yes. graham crackers? So when we get to this part here where we are smoothing out the cream, 
you can see that if we were smoothing this out over top of the crumb, it actually picks up that crumb it's and a, it's really it's a annoying. Hot mess. It yes. is a hot mess. And so when you put those cookies oh. down, it gives you a nice sort of firm, solid layer upon which to spread that cream. It's kind of one of those simple things that I think to myself, oh, I should have thought of that. But if you didn't, now you know. So that's and great. At the end of the day, what happens is, is when you let this sit or set, it uh, the crackers absorb the moisture sure. from the cream, mm -hmm. and they become soft, and it all look at how perfect so that went. Nice. Yeah. Yes. So it really makes life a lot easier. No kidding. So on top of our cream mixture, we're going to add our strawberries. It's a strawberry ice box cake. Uh, ice box cake after all. Yes, it is. And so again, this is a like middle layer, so it doesn't really have to be all that pretty. And I'm guessing you just put them down. You know. Um, uh, f fresh is, is always great. Frozen, though, if that's what you've got. And then you were also saying that you can buy strawberries pre-sliced, which somehow I missed somewhere yes. along the way. So yeah. buy frozen pre-sliced strawberries, thaw them out, throw them in the center of your cake. If you want to get a little fancier, you can add some fresh strawberries to the top. Um, but otherwise, if the frozen is all you've got or that's all that's in season, away that, you go. That's what, that's what we can do. And use. so we keep adding layers to this. So another graham cracker layer, another cream layer, gotcha. and then strawberries. Yep. And then the idea is in the fridge, overnight at least. Mm -hmm. um, and then you could also put it in the freezer. So the nice thing about the freezer is you put it in there for one day when you maybe do have company coming over or you all of a sudden need to bring something somewhere. Uh, you pull it out of the freezer, let it thaw for a few hours, and bang, you have your strawberry icebox cake. That's what we're talking about. Impressive, entertaining, uh, but, but ever so easy. So you can make it, put it in the freezer, and take it out when you need it. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to see what Erin's going to do uh, with all of these uh, amazing uh, recipes that we've done today here with uh, Sarah. Sarah. So stick around. We're going to bring Aaron back here in just a sec on Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods.